What's going on guys? It's a Sal and today we're going to be going over the latest patch notes of Overwatch where both McCree and Widowmaker have been nerfed, where McCree's fan the hammer damage has been nerfed, where Widowmaker's aimed fire damage has been nerfed. Now this is not surprising as they are both very strong right now and I think we kind of all saw this one coming. First let's talk about McCree. Now his primary attack is remaining unchanged but rather it's his secondary attack fan the hammer which is getting nerfed where the damage is going from 70 damage per shot all the way down to 45. Now that's pretty significant. Now if all six shots were to land, that's 420 damage all the way down to 270. Now 420 is a lot of damage, especially since he can immobilize and stun his target and then just unload on them. To make up for this loss of damage, after firing Fan the Hammer, the time before reload has been decreased from 0.75 seconds to 0.3 seconds. And if you weren't aware, there actually is a bit of a delay there. So after firing Fan the Hammer, you were taken out of the the action for a little bit before you could reload and essentially this makes the overall DPS loss not quite as high and it also makes for a missed fan the hammer to be not that big of a deal because it has less damage potential and I guess less risk because you can reload faster which makes sense in regard to this buff or nerf depending on how you look at it. This means McCree will be much less effective against tanks because he can only do 270 damage but he can still easily take out a 200 health hero with his flashbang and fan the hammer combo so this gives him much more of a niche rather than simply being effective against everything. Widowmaker's nerf also affects her raw damage output where essentially body shots will now do less damage but headshot damage will remain the same and this is accomplished by reducing the base damage of her aimed fire from 15 down to 12 or at a fully charged shot 150 all the way down to 120 but the headshot multiplier has gone up from 2 to 2.5 which as I said keeps that headshot multiplier multiplier or the damage rather unchanged. Widowmaker's ultimate cost has also been increased by 10% so she won't be able to use it quite as often which I agree with as it seems like she gets it a little bit too fast right now and I know she will still be using it but getting shot around the corner as soon as you peek really sucks so it's nice to know that that will be happening just a little bit less. Lastly Widowmaker will now have to wait for the unscoping animation to complete before she scopes in again. Now this doesn't affect the base DPS but rather fixes the problem of Widowmaker players unscoping then immediately scoping back in again to cancel the animation. Now this doesn't really do anything as far as actual doing damage does but it helps them see what's going on around them and it more or less nullifies one of Widow's main disadvantages which is that she can't see around her while she is scoped in. Widowmaker's nerf is great news for people who like to play Zenyatta and Tracer but mostly Zenyatta as he only has 150 health and he's not really that fast so one body shot would kill him absolutely every time. So they're kind of killing two birds with one stone with this. By nerfing one hero, they're making another hero more viable. And as a good Widowmaker makes Zenyatta pretty much not worth playing, I think this nerf was definitely needed. Personally, I agree with the nerf to Widowmaker, as when I play her, I find myself often skipping that headshot and just going for the body shot instead, because I know I can still do a lot of damage just with that body shot. And this will change how people play her and it will make her overall less effective but if you are a skilled player, you will still be rewarded for being able to pull off that headshot as the damage for the headshot remains unchanged. Overall, I'm quite happy with the choices that Blizzard has made with this patch as both McCree and Widowmaker are heroes that are definitely picked over other heroes and it's very rare to not see either one in a game and it's also really frustrating to get taken out in less than a second by McCree even though you're playing a tank or to get killed in one shot to the body by a Widowmaker and overall, I'm impressed with how Blizzard has been handling over watch thus far and I'm confident that they will continue to do so in the future. My question for you is if you were Blizzard who would you nerf next or who would you buff next? Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know I'd love to hear what you guys think and if you have enjoyed the video please do hit that like button and if you want to see more overwatch content be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now everyone this has been Asal and I will see you guys next time.